Diolch i fory am gwahoddiad. Mae'n blesur i bod yma heddiw ar ran personeriaid bach y bil type of CIH Cymru a Shelter Cymru. Well, I think we've heard a lot of stories today, and very different stories from my perspective as well, about the worsening housing situation um, um, in Wales. For me, what really kind of struck me today is the, the, the fact that different communities are experiencing different problems. Uh, some of them are, are, them, uh, are similar, uh, second homes, you know, the use of um, Airbnbs and so on. Uh, but um, it, in a way, they're all symptoms of a much, much wider uh, problem. Um, and uh, that is a housing emergency, there is long term underinvestment in housing, and it, it is commodification of um, housing as well, which uh, we have heard about quite a lot today. So I thought I'll talk a little bit about um, our campaign, Back the Bill uh, campaign. Uh, you can see a little bit about that. Um, in the prospectus for today and um, um, over there. Um, the, the coalition comprising of the organisations I mentioned, uh, we've got colleagues from Shelter Company here today and my colleagues from uh, Taipao as well, uh, calls for incorporation, the incorporation of international uh, right to adequate housing into Welsh law. Uh, what we're looking for is a, a, a radical reform and nothing less. Uh, back the bill uh, proposals uh, for, for the right um, aren't about kind of tinkering about the edges uh, of a system that has been uh, uh, creaking uh, at the seams for, for years, but uh, a fundamental change, uh, not only in how we see housing, uh, but change on a scale that we haven't really um, seen for decades. Um, and first and foremost, we want uh, right to adequate put housing to be embedded into law so that um, Welsh Government formally commits itself and future governments, importantly, because everything could change in 10, 20, 30 years' time, to systematically uh, a planning, delivering uh, and, uh, and systematic progress towards a world where everyone has a, a, a suitable home. It is not a change that would happen overnight, um, but it is all about uh, upping, upping the, the priority placed on enabling everyone to have a good home uh, and keeping all future governments uh, foot on the pedal. Uh, and that kind of upping the priority over time uh, and introducing that change over time, backed by law, uh, is what we call progressive realisation. We can't get there um, overnight. Uh, we'll get there over time, uh, and that is also uh, in our proposals backed by a long term plan, a housing rights strategy, uh, which the um, government would be accountable for. They would have to report on progress against it, it would have to be costed, and it would be challengeable uh, uh, um, legally um, as well. Uh, right to adequate, uh, adequate housing provides stronger framework. Uh, um, for, uh, for example, other legislation, other proposals that can further people's housing rights, like the Property Act, for example, um, and it recognises the, the conditions necessary for people to, to thrive. Um, it would, I think, crucially drive a large-scale large, large scale investment in uh, social housing we know, for example, that uh, since, uh, and other forms of housing actually, um, I think it was really interesting today to, to hear about uh, you know, the cooperatives, CLTs, and various, you know, a whole diversity of approaches that we could adopt in Wales, you know, learning from Europe and other countries, um, as, a, as well as uh, amongst ourselves. Um, um, what we know is that in Wales, uh, um, on average, around 2% of, of the budget um, is committed to, has been committed to housing since 2006. Now that is not really a priority that sh we should be uh, putting in an area where um, uh, we can see probably the, the biggest kind of crisis in decades. That's what we hear from our colleagues in housing associations and local authorities and homelessness charities and, and people. Um, Around really, and we've heard a lot about that um, today. Uh, one of the key tenets of the right to adequate housing 
and that's included in our um, draft bill as well, is the use of maximum available resources. Um, so it, uh, the, the law we drafted asked the government to use maximum available resources um, to, to address uh, the housing crisis but to basically fulfil uh, people's rights to a home um, over time and that is subject to legal um, scrutiny as well. If those resources are not used, um, if there's no kind of impact assessment then that needs to be um, justified. Um, um, I think, just concluding my very long introduction probably, I, I think that, that the work of uh, both Shatter to Trevi and uh, Kandathas uh, Ariaitha is, is a feat um, of communities uh, really gathering uh, together uh, uh, to, to help uh, shape and create um, a better future for themselves and for future generations. I think we need more of that. Uh, 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 there's a, a significant positive crossover uh, between um, um, our campaign, between Back the Bill and uh, uh, the proposed uh, Property Act, and um, uh, I think uh, a current, uh, a sort of current policy and, uh, and political kind of engagement, development uh, going on in both areas. Uh, so there's, a, there's certainly a lot of potential uh, uh, for further uh, exploration of what we can do and where do we have a, a shared vision. I think we have a shared vision anyway, uh, uh, shared solutions to why they paint the stage. Uh,